hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel becoming ab here if this is the first time on this channel thank you for stopping by please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share to your friends if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always stopping by to see what i have for you i really appreciate it but please don't forget to like this video comment on this video and share to your friends without wasting so much of your time let's just get right into today's video All those my girls that want to learn how to do a professional makeup this video is for you so i'll just take you through how i do my professional makeup because i'm doing this makeup for a birthday girl so today is her birthday and we're just doing a full glam for her so i start by cut um carving the eyebrows you can see what i'm doing there i'm just carving the eyebrows to make sure that it's easy before i start the skin prep because i like to do my eyebrows first like i mean i like to trim the eyebrows first before i start with the skin prep so yeah if you are doing this for somebody this step is usually the best because you don't want all this hair to fall on a face that you've already prepped so you just do the eyebrows first then you prep your skin and then you start the makeup so this is me teaching you how to carve your eyebrows i know it's not very 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 detailed but i'm going to do a detailed one of how to carve your eyebrows like this is just a fast video of how to just clean your eyebrows especially for someone that has a, the eyebrows already in place you just have to take out the s's like what i'm doing here so just keep watching now i'm going in with prepping the face so i'm using my wipe first to clean you want to clean out any um dead things on the skin like or any dirt or maybe some people come with already done makeup on their face you want to clean it out you don't want anything to be there before you, when you are starting your makeup so this is me just cleaning out a face then i'm going in with my setting spray now i like to set my face first before putting in my primer the next thing i have on is my primer i'm going to tag all the products i used for this video down below so you can see them and you can buy if you want because they're actually very good product and very very affordable so this is me adding my primer on the face and i'm using my brush to just blend it in this brush is from vika bell i will still tag her down this video so you can see so i'm just blending in the primer now so i like to use like three different primers on the face because you don't know the person that might be most people have oily skin so yeah what you do is you ask them first like is your skin oily do you have dry skin before you know what to do but i do that all the time but i still like to use this my few primers because they're not very very hard they're just very very soft too, but they hold your makeup so this is another primer on her face going down I'm just blending it in and the thing about makeup is blending is the key you just have to keep blending i think i've said this before but you just have to keep blending everything into the skin and the more you blend it the more it sits into the skin so this is me just blending and blending and blending anyways i hope you guys are doing very well today and i hope this video is going to help somebody but don't forget to tell me what you learned from this video down below my comment section i would really appreciate that so I, it can help me do more and the next thing is i'm just priming her eyebrows because i like to do that because it keeps it dry so you know when you're drawing your pencil sometimes your eyebrows become oily but i like to prime it first before drawing the pencil that's what i just did there so i'm using another primer to just prime the main the t zones of her face and then the eyebrows yes yeah, so these are things that i do on a normal day for my clients and i think it will help you too the next thing here is the foundation i'm using these two foundation i'm mixing it i like to mix because most times you can actually get the perfect shade for a client so i like to mix my foundation and i will tag it below this video so i'm just going to start with the foundation now just blending it into the skin like you can, it looks like it's bright right but trust me after after this makeup after you had, when you get to the ending you see how everything blends into the skin i don't even know why i did that there why did i even do that there but yeah and maybe i'm just trying to look out for there's this lady on instagram that does that with names of our clients she puts it on their head not like her name is oh why did i even go and write oh there i don't even know but i hope you are enjoying this video you see how smooth this foundation looks like see how it's just easy and then i like to blend my foundation with my foundation brush first 
before going in with my beauty blender and this is me just doing that i think for me this helps me to get like a perfect blend so when i spread it out with my brush i'll use my beauty blender to like dab it in but i know don't i know you are going to say it's looking like it's lighter than a skin but yeah just keep watching we're, we're all in this together so just keep watching so this is me blending 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 anyways so this is my client to see how pretty she is today is her birthday she called me and she was like oh, let me come and do makeup for her that she wants to look glam and her friends are um doing a surprise party for her and then i was like oh, okay well, me, i'm always ready to make money Sha, and i'm always ready to, to make people look beautiful because that's my slogan making people look beautiful like a handsy beauty so yeah this is how this makeup started and we're just chilling and gisting as you can see we're just just in here and i'm just blending doing my work while i'm just here. you don't want to, you don't want to bore your clients you don't want to be too serious you have to be able to smile and laugh and let them gist let them talk and people have conversations it just makes it easy and now i'm going in with my beauty blender to blend in this foundation i have on her face just keep watching okay thing is the concealer so we're going to conceal uh, a lighted area which is the t-zones of her face so i'm just adding my concealer now to her face she's on the call you know the fact that it's her birthday people were calling her so she was doing video call and laughing and smiling but yeah as a professional now you have to be able to manage people you have to be able to know how to do people's makeup even when they are on a call because if you want to tell them to stop ah, you will not finish your work so i just kept going with what, with what i'm doing and allowing her to still have a day and enjoy a day because i it wouldn't be nice if i tell her not to pick her calls so yeah this is me just adding my concealer to her eyes you see the color i'm adding you had like it, it like most times a concealer that's supposed to be like two shades lighter but because the skin is already light so i'm trying to get a perfect shade for the concealer and that's what i'm doing now you can see that the concealer looks lighter than our, our face so i just need it to like brighten up our t-zones area so yeah these are the t-zones area that i'm putting in the concealer now so in case you're putting your concealers you know where exactly to put them so these are the places and then the bridge of the nose i think i'm going to put it to them and then i like to put the really bright one just by the eyes it helps to pop out the eyes and make our skin like our face pop out so that's what i'm trying to do now and then i'll go in with my beauty blender and then i'll start blending so you 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 arrange i like to put in my concealers first everywhere so i just blend all through you see how i'm blending it so what you're doing is just putting the concealer the way i placed it now on the person's face and then just blend and you see how i'm blending and i'm sure you can see how i'm holding my beauty blender i don't i'm not pressing it so hard because if you press it so hard it's going to put a line on the face so you just do it softly like very very gently just dab it like you're just dabbing basically and then everything will just blend out easily and then if you're using a good product that helps to that is easy to blend you find it really really easy to just work with your beauty blender anyways just keep watching what i do okay step is to contour her face so with contouring i use a concealer or a foundation that is two shades darker so it helps to give you the definition you want so just keep watching what i'm doing and you understand what i'm talking about and you would see the places that you have to place your uh, your contour so just keep watching okay
so i had to add another light concealer at the at her eyes to blend it out because i needed it to pop more and this is me just blending it into her eyelids to just give it like a defined finished like how it looks now so i'm just blending just blending it gently and telling her to open her eyes because i want to get her under eyes to look really really clean and not tacky so basically i'm just blending and blending and blending so you just have to take your time and blend this part out because when your under eyes is looking really smooth and clean your makeup looks really flawless so this is what i'm just trying to do now and you can see that her face is already having a diff a, a shape because the contour side is there and then the highlighted part is looking all bright and now popping out so yeah this is what you just need to do and see how she's already feeling herself like oh my, she's already feeling herself as the birthday girl that she is and yeah i'm just going in with a powder a press powder to just press down the concealer that's under her eyes because i don't want it to start having lines so i'm just doing it like as soon as possible and before she will start tearing because most people tear so you have to be fast with this process you have to be as fast as you can with this process so that the eyes are not irritated and they don't start tearing so this is me just dabbing in my powder now to just like set the under eyes so i like to use my loose powder first to use my uh, compact powder first before it loose powder or before the setting powder so the compact powder would help me to get it in place so it doesn't move at all and then before i put in my setting powder so yeah this is what i'm just doing now I'm still at the process of um, setting my face so i'm blending out the concealer at the forehead so i can put in the pressed powder there because i put i like to put this powder at the t-zones of the face which is the those parts where i did, added the concealer so those are where i'm putting this powder to set them in because this is the same place you're going to put your setting powder when you want to set your makeup so i'm going in with my pressed powder first like i said for the under eyes I'll put it in the forehead and on the chain like what i'm doing now so i'm just setting these places down for the setting powder because most times when you go go straight with setting powder sometimes it's hard for you to blend it out but if you do this step i'm doing now it makes it really really easy for you to blend you see what i mean when i start blending out so this is me now making the contour more enhanced like adding a bit of you know the first one i used was liquid contour and now i'm going in with the powder contour the same thing with at light like setting in this place before the setting powder so this so i like to set in everywhere i put in my concealer with a powder with a press powder because it makes it easy and it makes your makeup last longer so you see the reason why i do this is because you don't want to and you know that i've not done my eyebrows and i do my skin work before my eyebrows so i like to make sure my face is well in place before like my skin work is well in place before i start doing my my eye work which is my eyebrows and my eyeshadow so basically i'm just trying to set in every part of the face so that when i start doing my eyebrows it doesn't move or my hand doesn't have to show or my fingers doesn't show on the person's skin the next thing i'm going to be doing is my blush you can already see how this blush has changed the look as how it has change the face and give you more definition so basically after doing my pressed powder i go in with my blush and i like to use my powder blush because it's easy to blend one thing i do a lot for my makeup i don't know about any other person but for me i like to use things that are very easy for me to blend because blending is the key if you put in things on your face that you can't blend out it makes your makeup look really scattered and not your skin work is not going to be flawless so i try to go in with things that are easy to blend so i try to use more of powder things than liquid things because powder things are really really easy to blend so this is me going in with my powder blush i'm just blending into her skin see how she's smiling it's just nice and then i'm going in with my contour so i'm going to contour the nose i didn't do that from the beginning for you to see but i'm doing it here because i'm using a powder contour it's easier to just blend it after having your con your compact powder on the face so i'm just blending it on the nose that two side the two sides of the nose 
to just make sure that you try to and you try to blend it in a way that it comes really close because if it's too far apart it makes your nose wider but if you want to have a pointed nose like and everybody wants that nose to be pointed you have to bring your contour really close together like try as much as possible to make it really close together don't make it too far from each other if not to make your nose a bit bigger so bring it closer like what i'm doing now you can see it i'm just showing you i think this is really really clear for you to see bring it closer instead of taking it further away from each other that's just the basic thing you have to know about your nose contour bring it closer don't take it too far apart i hope you're not tired because makeup is a long thing but if you get the if you get the angle of it it's quite easy so now what i'm doing now is i'm setting my face with the setting powder basically so what i just did now i just added the setting powder to all the t-zones area of those the same places i added like my compact powder that's where i'm putting in the setting powder now to just set it so this thing what this does for you is it keeps your makeup in place and especially for those of us that do, that do the skin work first before the eye work, it would help you to sit in that makeup while you're doing your eyebrows and doing your eyeshadow. Your setting powder is baking, like it's literally baking your face and keeping your makeup. You see when people say I carried my makeup for 24 hours, it didn't even move. This is what they mean. This is the this is the essence of it. This is what helps you to get that long lasting makeup. But before you do this, try to use a compact powder to set your face so that this thing doesn't stick to hard on the skin that you can blend it out so basically this is me just setting the face or alighting the face or baking the face anyone you want to call it it's the same thing this is me just baking the face before i'll start my eye work this is the part that most of you have been waiting for the eyebrows so this is when i start to do my eyebrows after i've baked all of the face i'm sure you can actually see her face it looks really really flawless even with the baking powder and it's even with the setting powder on it the face still looks really flawless so yeah so for your eyebrows you start from the downside of your eyebrows before you go to the up exactly what i'm doing now and you know if you if you notice very well i did not start my eyebrows from the beginning of eye of the eyebrows i took it in a bit and that's because i want the front to have a natural feel so that's why i didn't start it from the beginning i started it from like two inches away and then this is me just going in with the up now the same thing i did with the up i didn't start from the beginning you don't want to start from the beginning because you don't want your eyebrows the starting of your eyebrows to look really thick you want to look really really natural so this is me just lining the, the eyebrows now and then you see what i'll do to the beginning of it just keep watching okay so i'm doing the same thing for the other side i like to work both sides at the same time because it helps to give you a correct mapping or it helps to make it equal for me it works for me i like to do the both sides together while i'm doing this one i'm doing the other one because i'm using it to watch what i'm doing for the other side so it, it makes it really really easy for me to get what i want you can see what i'm doing now like what i just said i'll look at this one and then i'll go back to the other one to make sure that they look alike and so you know your eyebrows cannot be twin they can they cannot be the same but they can be twin in a way so you try as much as possible to make it look like the same but it cannot actually be the same because nothing in our body is perfectly the same so you see what i did to the beginning of the eyebrows that's what i meant by i want it to look really natural so i'm just filling in the inside now you can see how the front looks really natural it doesn't look like you just drew a line there and that's because i did not start from the beginning and then just use your mascara one to brush it out and just get filling any part you see that there's anything inside just fill it in and if you want your eyebrows dark you can use a darker pencil if you want it lighter you can use a lighter pencil it depends on the client or it depends on the individual and depends on what you want it depends on your taste but i wanted that eyebrows to look really pronounced that's why i use something a bit dark for her you see what i just did to the beginning now that's what i mean by making it natural you just like comb it up and just use your pencil to do as if you are drawing like an invisible hair on her eyebrows basically and then you just keep filling in till you get to your sure that everywhere is covered and don't make it too dark fill in lightly like the way i'm doing faintly like you don't want it to be black you don't want to come outside with a black eyebrows and as you are feeling, you are using your mascara one to brush it out. Stay with it. You don't need to water it down. No one else has the same story. I stay with it. Now, 
now it's time to conceal your eyebrows so use two shades lighter for the brow bone where you are seeing me working on that's called your brow bone so use a two shade lighter you have your blending brush and your flat brush so this is me blending out my concealer like what i keep saying i do the both sides the same time you see what i'm doing so i'm done with that one i'm coming into the other side you go you start with your eyebrow bone so to give you a definition of what you want for the whole of the eyebrows and you have to blend it out because you don't want your concealer to be stuck there before coming back to blend because they dry out so this is me just going in and then use like one shade lighter for the ending and the beginning so that it doesn't look as if there's a white line at the end and there's a white line at the beginning you use one shade lighter than your foundation shade you see what i'm doing you see how it looks it looks really natural that's because i'm not using a very very light concealer for the end and the beginning part of my eyebrows so just if you follow the steps you're seeing now i'm sure you will get a very perfect eyebrows just keep watching and you understand what i'm saying and you will get it i know you say that i keep saying just keep watching because truthfully makeup is more of watching it looking at it and talking about it because if i'm even talking and i'm not showing you what i'm talking about you still will not get it so most of the time it's rather it's better for you to look at it and watch it then you will have an idea of what i'm saying this is me now going into the eyeshadow so i'm done with the eyebrows basically because it was a clean line i didn't have to do so much so i'm going into the eyeshadow i'm using a dark brown i'm going to create a look that she showed me from instagram yeah one celebrity did the look and she was like oh, that she wants this look so that's what i'm trying to create here so this same with this same way you can see create a nude eyeshadow if you want you can create any type of eyeshadow if you want with this process i'm showing you now so i'm just going in with the brown first on the crease of the eyes you see where i'm where i'm putting the brown now that's called your crease of your eyes so i'm just blending it out you see what i kept i keep saying about doing the two sides at the same time it works really really well for me and i think you should try it too and let me know if it worked for you by dropping it on my comment section anyway so i'm blending the brown now for me brown is like a neutral color and it just goes with everything so i try to start with a brown eyeshadow color you can even use your contour you can use your you can use anything that is brown you can just blend it out on your eyes it doesn't have to be an eyeshadow it can be a contour it can be a powder anything that you know that is dark brown you can use it to just blend your eyeshadow so this is me just blending and then you have to keep blending blending is the key you see now that the eyes are already popping they're already looking as if you can just line your eyes now and you're good to go and that's with with this you can get a nude makeup if you want you can just put like a light powder on that part that is light and then you line your eyes and that is it but because i want something different i'm going in with a lighter brown that looks like a red like a brown red red color i'm just blending it out but yeah blending is the key just keep blending don't stop blending because if your blending is good your eyeshadow is going to be flawless and there will be no lines you don't want any lines in between so that's why i'm just blending i'm blending i'm blending i'm blending <laughs> i know you say ah the blending is a lot see but yeah you actually really really have to blend if not you will have lines you will have your colors are showing differently you want everything to blend as if it's one color so that's why you have to blend that's why blending is very very important so just keep watching okay keep watching again and you will still get what i what i'm showing you because i can't really say everything just keep watching and keep looking at what i'm doing To get, to get your eyeshadow to pop out, you need your eyeshadow primer. So this is me just going in with my eyeshadow primer now. So because I've done the brown already, I don't want to put the primer in all the eyes anymore. I'm just putting the primer directly on the place. I want to place the color of my eyeshadow, like the color, like any color I'm using. That's why I'm just placing this primer. So you see what I said about you can just put your nude color here. So if you want to put a nude color, it's the same thing you do. Just put your primer there. And then you can just add the nude color on that spot of your eyes you don't have to add it everywhere so just directly on where you put your primer so this is me just placing my primer my primer now the same thing goes with me doing to the two eyes at the same time like if you've noticed everything i've been doing since i've been doing them together so it gives me it makes it easy for me and this is me just blending at the primer line because you can see that there's a line on the primer i don't want that line to be there because if that line is there it would affect your eyeshadow placement to come with a line and then you you find it out to even blend it out so this is me just blending it out into the brown eyeshadow 
that I just placed earlier. So from this point, you can then place in any color you want. If you want gold, if you want brown, if you want white, if you want red, any color of eyeshadow you want, you can then place it on this part of the of the eyes. You see what I'm doing? I'm just placing it. It's, it makes it so easy and it pops out because of the eyeshadow primer. So just place it. And this is me trying to make it lighter. So I added a lighter shade of pink to it. Basically, just do. You can do whatever you want to do here. If you want green, if you want purple, if you want red, if you want gold, if you want silver, anything you want to put, you can just put it at this point. Back to blending. So when you're done placing your eyeshadow, you just blend out all the round, all the corners of the eyeshadow. So there's no line like what I'm doing here. You can um, you can see what I'm doing. Just blend out all the corners so you don't have any line. So nobody can say, ah, this is this is the point where she started putting the, the eyeshadow. And this is the point where she stopped. So I'm going in with a darker shade because I want I want this the corner of her eyes to be darker. So I'm using a darker shade to make it pop more. You can see how the difference is. The, when it wasn't this dark, it looked really natural. But now it looks a bit more pronounced. So I'm just going in for darker shade to just blend it out. point i'm going to line her eyes so this point i don't think i actually have anything to say you just you just have to watch and see what i'm doing because i had to zoom it really close so you can see what i'm doing so just watch and learn
but that will leave so let's start blending out this powder in the face so now you see what i've been talking about that when you put your compact powder first it makes it really easy see how easy it was for me to blend out the setting powder on her skin and now you can see that the color on her, of her face is now even with her body i told you from the beginning that don't worry about it it's going to blend out so this is me blending out all the powder see how she's so excited like can, can you imagine having yourself look like this every time you want to go out just take your time and go through all the steps i just did on this video and trust me your makeup will be looking flawless like how this makeup is looking flawless anyways drop a comment on the comment section and tell me what you think tell me what you've learned tell me if this was helpful well, you for you. you i'm still going to do more so just sit down and keep watching okay so now i'm going to set a face after this whole process is where you use the setting spray to set in all the makeup in so this is what i just did now so i'll wait for the spray to dry this is i was even blowing it with my powder because i needed this to dry fast since she was going out and yeah we already had our, our lip gloss I, I, I wasn't able to film the part i was doing my lip gloss i thought i was but i didn't know that i wasn't filming but then this is me I, i've added the lip gloss on the lips and see how succulent and beautiful the lips look just tell me that you don't love this lipstick or tell me you don't love this lips i'll post the lip gloss i use down below on my description box so you can see in case you want to get it but yeah this is the look and then we still have like one more thing to do i think so or two more things to do so just keep watching okay so the last thing i'm going to do now is to add a lighter to a t-zones a cheekbone forehead the bridge of the nose and the chain so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just adding it and i don't really like my lighter to be too pronounced or too light because i still want it to feel like skin like when you just turn your face to face the light and then it glows but i don't want you to just stand and somebody's saying a white line on your face or a gold line on your face so i just try to make it really calm like you can see on her face now there's it doesn't even show that she has a lighter on but she does when you see this is me doing the one for the nose now you see how i'm doing it calmly it's not loud it's not too much it doesn't make it look like there's a white line on her face so basically just a bit of it so for me i feel like i, I always say less is more like when you don't do too much it comes out looking pretty and looking way nicer so that's my slogan less is more and i hope is this i hope you think the same way as me because i like my makeup to be really really natural like i want to see myself in my makeup i don't want to change i don't want to look like a different person and that's what i try to do for my clients also and i've been so lucky to have clients that want to look like themselves that want natural looking makeup we finally got to the end of this video tell me what you think about this video in my comment section tell me what you think about the look and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like comment and share to your friends thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on my next video love you guys bye